Hi, this is Alex from phbacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the slider in jQuery UI. What we're going to do is we're going to implement a simple slider onto the page and take a look at some of the options that are available to us. So when the slider is in operation, we're going to create a div underneath the uh, slider that's going to hold the div and we're going to feed back the values associated with the slider. So this is useful for things like if you've looked at clothing websites or other websites you have, um, you know, such as just retail websites, you might have sliders that uh, allow you to pick a particular value uh, of uh, in the range of a particular value. Uh, for example, in currency, you would have uh, a slider that would allow you to only show items between uh, certain amounts of money. So sliders can be implemented in this way. Obviously, we're not going to be looking at it in too much detail in this tutorial by just demonstrating this slider um, effect or slider widget in jQuery UI. But we're just going to take a look at some of the options available, some of the more useful options. So the first thing we want to do is actually implement a slider into our page. So I've included, obviously, all the necessary includes uh, that we've been using throughout the tutorial series. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is go over to style.css and just style some of the body elements or one of the body elements which is the font size and I'm going to set this to 14 pixels. Uh, I'm also going to be setting the size of the slider a bit later on, we're going to be fiddling around with this during the tutorial uh, but for now I'm just going to leave that blank until we implement the slider. So the slider uh, we're going to place into a div element on our page, I'm just going to call this slider and underneath I'm going to have an area where we have the slider value. So I'm just going to call this div slider value. So the slider is going to be implemented in here and the, te or the value associated with the slider will go into this div here. So if we go over to ui.js, which I've included on my page, we can start to actually activate the slider. So we're going to reference uh, using a selector uh, this slider div here so we'll go ahead and write slide it in there and then we just want to write dot slider now this will be this will uh, automatically activate the slider and we can view it on our page uh, so yeah that should be slider so let's go ahead and refresh our page and you can see that we've got a basic slider uh, with no minimum or maximum value uh, and we're also not feeding back the value to the user so the first thing we're going to take a look at is actually feeding back the value so inside the options, we're going to set an event based on um, the uh, slider value. So the event name is slide. So if we just write slide in here, we can create a function associated with this. So we'll come down a couple of lines. Uh, let's just pop this on a separate line altogether uh, down here. Okay, so when, when we've actually when we're actually taking uh, the slider and dragging it across this bar, uh, anything inside here we want to uh, feed back. So this function here is going to take two uh, parameters, which is event and UI. Now we're not going to be looking at event, but we're going to be looking at UI, uh, which is obviously going to feed back the value of the bar. So I'll show you how to do that just now. Now we're going to uh, select our slider value uh, div and we're going to place some text inside there. We can use HTML or text uh, if you're putting anything else other than a uh, thing you know, like you might want to go ahead uh, and implement a pound sign, for example. Uh, let's just do that to test. And then you want to append on UI.value. Now we're going to be changing this a bit later on uh, with the other options that we're going to give it because uh, value isn't going to work for uh, values in between so you know you'll you'll understand a bit later on that we'll, we'll go ahead and change this and access it, access it uh, as an array but for now what's going to happen is we've set up the slider uh, when we slide we run this current function and from UI we place the value of the slider into the slider value uh, with a pound sign on the front of it so let's go ahead and refresh uh, you can see that as we slide, uh, this this is now updating. So you can see that the uh, value is increasing. Uh, by default, it's from zero, so back to zero here, uh, all the way up to 100. Now, because we're going to be setting values a bit later and using these in several places, what I want to do is just go up here and set a few of these va uh, values into variables. So I'm going to set uh, the min value equal to 1. We want the value to always start at 1. And I'm going to set the max value to 
400. Okay, so now what we want to do is actually implement these as uh, options. So the two options we're looking at here is min and max. So just under here, I can write min, and I can go ahead and put min value. So now min will be equal to one, so the slider will always start at one, and max, we can use max value. And remember this comma here, because this comma separates uh, this uh, option value here from this slide here, it would usually look like that. So now that we've set a min and a max, we can go ahead and check that. You can see that it will have started at one, and as we go all the way up, it's now at a maximum value of 400. So that's essentially how we are setting the minimum and maximum values of our slider, which is almost uh, always going to be the case. Uh, we might not want the zero to 100, we might want uh, a larger value. So assuming this is pounds, uh, we have an option from one pound to 400 pounds. So this could be a slider, for example, uh, I don't know, how much money do you want to borrow, uh, or how much money, you know, you know, would you like to donate or anything like that? Um, there is another option that we can use called step, which will step at an incremental point in the uh, slider. So for example, if we only wanted multiples of five, uh, what we could do is we could set a step value. So I could set the step value to five, for example, and what's gonna happen here is uh, when we actually increment it, it's gonna go up with a value of five. So you'll notice at the moment that we've, uh, we're going up in five because we started at one. Uh, so we could either change this to zero or, or we could step at four.